Sounds good. Well, it's 11.02, so we'll go ahead and start. If you could just hold for one more second. I apologize. It just takes a moment to make that um, connection. And we are now live. All right, we'll go ahead and get the meeting started. Good morning, everyone. So uh, there's something here that I got to read um, briefly and is uh, having to do with uh, some new protocols uh, uh, we're following uh, for these type of meetings uh, that are now being held uh, virtually. So I'm um, calling the meeting to order. Uh, then, okay, so due to the provisions of the governor's uh, executive orders uh, N-25-20 and N-29-20, which suspend certain re requirements of the Brown Act and the order of the health officer of the county of Sonoma to shelter in place to minimize the spread of the coronavirus, the Santa Rosa Tourism Business Improvement Area Board Committee will be conducting today's meeting in a virtual setting using Zoom webinar. Committee members and staff are participating from remote locations and or participating appropriate, uh, practicing appropriate social distancing uh, protocols. Members of the public may view and listen to the meeting as noted on the city's website and as noted on the agenda. Members of the public wishing to speak during item three, public comment, or during our public hearing items will be able to do so by utilizing the raise hand feature, uh, um, uh, the, their hand or pressing uh, number nine on their phone. They then can be given the ability to address the committee. And I think that's all I get to read, right? Uh, that is correct. <laughs> okay, and then I requested the uh, recording to begin, so to take uh, roll call. So, recording secretary. Hi, um, I see that all members are present um, with the exception of Pat Am Anderson, and that will be noted in the record. Thank you. All right, now we move on to uh, item three, which is, oh, wait a minute, uh, public comments. Item two. So we. Uh, um, Chair Rivero, at this time, I don't see any raised hands. Okay. Thank you. All right. So we move on to item three, which is approval of the minutes. And then these are the minutes from our uh, January 23rd meeting. And I don't know if you've had uh, the opportunity to review the minutes. Approve. Okay, so um, burn uh, motions to uh, approve uh, the meeting minutes from our January 23rd meeting. Uh, do we have a second? Raphael, I, I wasn't present, so I'm gonna abstain from this one. Okay. And then, I, I, right, uh, for, uh, remind me, uh, uh, do we, um, um, do we have any other comment, uh, public comments at this point? Um, well, oh, we don't yes. Have any public, uh, so. Chair Rivero, um, Eric Frazier has raised his hand. Um, if you will hold one moment, I will um, set that up. Okay. Thank you all for your patience. This will just take one more second. I again apologize for the delay.
I apologize, I'm having a bit of a technical issue at the moment. Um, I will hopefully resolve that shortly. I apologize. I'm, I'm having uh, an issue um, switching, un unmuting Mr. Frazier. It will just take me one more minute. Again, my sincerest apologies. Okay. I remember that was a fun meeting. Mr. Frazier, I will be um, unmuting you now. Um, if you would go ahead and unmute yourself. Uh, thank you, I have. And are you able to see um, the timer? Uh, I'm not, but my comments will be brief. Thank you so much. Yeah, so Eilina and I have been going back and forth on the minutes from January. Uh, not that it's that large of a point, but I do recall being in attendance. I don't know if I spoke. But uh, I also want to just comment that the minutes don't reflect what people say when they do have comments uh, from the general public or uh, even those that are there to, um, you know, discuss their applications. And so, um, but at any rate, it was a small point. Um, sorry, it took a lot of technology to get through. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Frazier. Thank you. Okay, so um, we'll need a second motion to approve the minutes from the January meeting. All those. So I'll make a motion. Uh, I'll second the motion. And so all those in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Say nay. Okay, so the minutes pass. Thank you. So on the uh, Fourth item is the uh, event support application. We received an application from DJFE Sprint Triathlon Series. And um, I'll open the item up for uh, a brief discussion. If, um, I, if I may, uh, I have been in contact. This item has is now gone to a, it is still gonna happen. She is still looking for a sponsorship. However, it is now a virtual event, so it will not be physically taking place on the dates proposed on the application. Uh, as we know, this application was put in prior to um, the last few months. Uh, but again, it will be happening as a virtual event. She will be promoting it. She is asking people to run um, and do some of the activities in Santa Rosa, including passing many of our uh, establishments and would like to get them involved. However, it will not be a live event. It will be a virtual event. Thank you. Um, uh, any other comments um, from the public before we make a motion? Brad, I'm sorry to, to put you on the spot a little bit, but do you know how that impacts the costs that are indicated in the in the application, I think I saw a six thousand number in there for for kind of production costs. So you know, does I, that go? I apologize, I did not ask her those questions. Okay. Um, and then we did not get into um, not sure how it would affect room nights because they can do this event from all over. Um, okay. So those those who might have planned travel may still be traveling. Those who have signed up but have not done that. Um, would do their own thing, um, possibly not all in Sonoma County, or most likely those who are not um, 
Sonoma County residents unless they're keeping their travel plans. Yeah, and, and I believe that our budget only has something like $800 or so or. Yeah. But most likely there would be almost very little, very few room nights because of it becoming virtual. Yeah. Okay, yeah, uh, well, uh, I don't know. Any, any further discussion? We, uh... are, are the applicants uh, on with us by any chance as attendees? I just, I, there's a phone number there that I just, I don't recognize, so I didn't know if that was them. Um, I'm going to change your name uh, to caller one. Caller one, if you are the applicant, if you would please raise your hand, that would be wonderful. Thank you. Uh, the caller has not raised their hand. Okay. And the, the request is uh, $1,500. The total cost of the event is 6000 Maybe. <laughs> and and you know, this is something that we can support at this moment. I did Certainly. offer that we could, that Visit Santa Rosa would support this through promotion on social media um, and still promoting the event given that it's virtual, just when obviously, depending on the, what the board does dollar wise, may not happen dollars wise, but we would still promote this as a virtual event and it still fits within our uh, conversation about athletics, triathlon events, running, swimming, um, and biking. Is it something that's gonna be potential in the future for next summer as well and following years? Yes. Certainly a big fan of promoting our destination and supporting it as a, as a place for athletics, amateur and professional alike. And um, so there's a, there's a piece of me that wants to make sure that it gets support, but um, uh, it's hard. I'm open to being convinced otherwise, but it's hard to put some money uh, toward an event that's not going to be here. Um, I hope that doesn't <laughs> hope that doesn't sound too too callous or anything, but um, you know, uh, if it's not gonna if it's not gonna be here, if it's not gonna bring people here, um, I certainly appreciate if it is uh, identifying Santa Rosa as sort of a, a piece of it, but um, I'm I'm, uh, I'm just not seeing the connection is is great, but again, I'm I'm willing to be convinced otherwise. Okay, uh, do we have any um, public comments before we make a motion to either support it or not support it? Yes, there is. Um, Mr. Frazier has raised his hand. Okay, um, great. Mr. Frazier, I'm going to allow, uh, ask you to unmute. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can you hear me okay? Yes. yes thank okay, you. thank you very much. So, yeah, these are definitely um, trying times, uh, very challenging situation uh, for uh, the BIA to breathe life into destination management. And so um, picking up uh, on Brad's comments that uh, Visit Santa Rosa would be promoting the event over social media, and I assume other earned media, uh, as well as probably mentioned on website and calendaring and things like that. There is a value there that should be articulated. And I would make the suggestion in this particular application because of the uncertainty to not pull away your support entirely, but also not just to sort of throw money at this virtual environment that I don't really believe that you understand very well. But I think a hybrid proposal would be to offer this group uh, $10 per room uh, per night for, from people that uh, have come from out of the area. So if they can track that and make that part of their recording back to you, then I think it would be true to your mission to offer a spiff of like $10 per room uh, per night 
uh, and allow that type of funding to go forward up to a certain amount. Uh, I, you know, perhaps cap it at fifteen hundred dollars. Um, uh, but that way, you can again be true to your mission, and uh, as, and as well as not pull your support completely away from an organization that appears to have, you know, looking for some physical prep. Uh, presence here in uh, the city of Santa Rosa. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Frazier. Thank you for your comment, Mr. Frazier. Uh, is that a good point? All right, so do I, uh, anybody want to make a motion in regards to whether we support it or uh, not support this $1,500 ask uh, for the Hi. event? I, I should like to what Eric did say there. I think that has got some merit to it. Um, yeah, absolutely. Back with a per room night and based on production and with the max cap. Yeah, I think there is, I think it's an interesting way to look at it and it's definitely worth um, further discussion. Yeah, right, is that a conversation that you could have with uh, the, the organizers or the, some of the, hotels that where they're planning to if, if they come if there's people coming here yes i can have that with the organizer great okay all right so we hear a motion to maybe approve deny <laughs> yeah, approve with conditions i think um based on production again if the client if they're willing to go that way i think it's a it's a valid way to look at it. I think the gesture on our part to show that we are want to work with them and again supporting the the athletic side of it which we do want to do here in Santa Rosa. Okay. So is that a, is that the motion that's on the just so we, we would approve the fifteen hundred dollars with conditions to with the, yeah, up to fifteen hundred based on a dollar per room night generated. We want to go ten dollars. We want to go five dollars, but something where there is a. Um, so I would imagine some people still want to come here. I mean, we're still seeing. We're still seeing people come on the weekends. We're still seeing traffic coming. So I think it, that we're still an attractive destination for those who want to run it, or participate locally. Um, so I'm willing to put that out at ten dollars a room night up to fifteen hundred. So I'll second that just so we can start talking about it a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So I, I, again, the motion is to, um, sorry, Vern, um, to approve. Approve up to 1500 based on a room night production of $10 per room. Okay. Peter second. So, all right. So all those in favor, say aye. Well, well, let, no, uh, we got to discuss it first. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so just uh, process wise, um, I want to be sure that we are uh, providing enough direction and clarity so Brad can uh, have the conversation and, and all of that, right? And then to see if there's anything that we have to come back to. Um, so let's just work through that really quick before we take a vote. So um, I want to be, I want to be sure, are we giving Brad direction to go up to $10 or to uh, not exceed $10 per room or to keep it in a range from five to 10? I think I just want to be sure that we're not setting anybody up to, you know, go, yeah. go in opposition of our direction here. I mean, up to $10 a room sounds. Okay. Awesome for uh, obviously for Santa Rosa rooms. Um, so uh, that's fairly clear. Is there, uh, and it's 1500, right? To be sure. Uh, and then um, we're okay if it's less than that, obviously, right? Because if it's only, if they have uh, 100 50 rooms, rooms, yeah. yeah, 50 rooms or 100 rooms at 10 bucks, it's gonna be, it's gonna be lower. Uh, okay, so Brad, do you feel like you've got enough to have this conversation with them? Yes, thank you. Okay, great. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Rafael. Yeah. So, uh, all those in favor? To aye. Those aye. Say aye. 
Aye. Okay. Any opposed? Say nay. Okay. So motion passes, and Brad has got some uh, direction to proceed uh, accordingly for the discussion uh, and the motion. Okay, so item number five, uh, thank you, by the way, uh, it's the annual report. So every year we put together a report for the city council. Uh, this item in, in particular, um, it, it reads review and approval of the 2019-2020 and an annual report in the 2020-2021 uh, uh, work plan. Um, we've been you know, just so busy these past few weeks and, and even prior months. Um, uh, honestly, the, 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 the draft is, is not a final draft. So I would rather have uh, a discussion rather than a review and approval. And what I propose is uh, that we schedule a special meeting next week, no later than next Thursday, to then review and uh, to, to approve the, uh, the, the annual report and the work plan. And uh, the reason for that is because uh, we're just uh, put it wrap, trying to wrap our heads around with uh, the budget areas, the budget parts, uh, and the proposed budget. Um, we, there's a lot of uncertainty about TOT. Uh, I do appreciate that Brad provided uh, the projections uh, adjusted for COVID, uh, but we still need to do a little bit of work related uh, uh, to, to, those, uh, to those figures. Um, I also noticed that the, the draft that it's on here doesn't have the marketing piece that you provided, Brad, uh, on your earlier message. So I do apologize for that. We had a couple, we we're working on various drafts and obviously the one that went out uh, didn't have that section. So I'll make sure that that's incorporated. I'll make sure that you get to uh, um, uh, um, uh, the draft that has that section just to, to verify that's on there. Uh, so that's what I'm proposing is that we review uh, sorry, we have a discussion about the, uh, the annual report and the work plan. And then next week, uh, we schedule this special meeting and then vote to approve uh, the document, the item. So. All right. Yeah, that, it certainly works for me, uh, Raphael. Um, a little, yeah. Okay. All right. um, looks like Eric, uh, okay. Uh, any uh, comments from the public? Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Frazier has raised his hand. Um, hold on just a moment. Um, Eric, I have um, set you to unmute. So if you Thank you very much. Go ahead. Yes, yeah, so uh, certainly uh, our committee will be comparing this draft plan with last year's plan and our annotations uh, for last year's plan. So it's um, uh, we can't do our work if we're not looking at an actual draft plan. And so if we're basing our work product off of something that, uh, you know, that's been attached to the agenda, that's not actually the full draft, I'm not sure how we'll gain access to the updated draft that then would be subject to further review and apparently approval on the special meeting a week from now. So, uh, so there's something wrong about how that dance is being proposed here. Uh, so, uh, so first of all, it's important for us to see, you know, the complete document and be uh, part of or bear witness to the process that's going through to approve the current document that you're proposing. And so at this particular point, it's half baked, it sounds like. And so uh, perhaps the next meeting would be to discuss the draft and then you would have yet another meeting to approve it. Uh, so that would be my observation. Uh, otherwise, you know, unless there's some other way that you're producing the documents that are necessary and the gravitas of your special meeting. Um, I'll also use the moment to reiterate that uh, there is a call to action from the public for a change in the way that the Santa Rosa Tourism BIA is structured. And that should also be uh, reflected within your plan. Uh, so thank you very much, appreciate it. Thank you, Mr. Fraser. Thank you, thank you. And yes, the, um, 
uh, because of this particular situation, yes, prior to having scheduling that uh, special meeting, we would uh, definitely share that 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 final draft. Um, and I, Eileen, remind me, I don't know how that uh, gets incorporated if uh, once we announce a special meeting, which uh, we're mm -hmm. hoping to have before next Thursday or on Thursday, uh, mm -hmm. next Thursday, uh, that we uh, have the the item, um, the hyperlink provided so the members okay. of the public can review it. Um, I know that we have a final meeting this Monday coming up with our ASO. Uh, so we can go over the budget once again. And I believe that probably by the end of Monday afternoon or even Tuesday, as early as Tuesday, we'll have that uh, particular draft that we'll, we're going to review and approve. Uh, on that special meeting. So the public members of the public can have access to it. Yes, and that would be sent out um, after that meeting on Monday, the updated draft um, and final draft um, prior to uh, the meeting on Thursday would be sent out in the meeting notice. Um, for, and it would also be sent to the board as well for their review. So both the public and the board would receive the draft at the same time. Okay. All right. So that was the update on that, and um, uh, but we don't need to take a we don't need to make a motion for that particular item. We'll just have to wait for the uh, special meeting to be scheduled, and of course uh, for us to share that final draft for review and approval. All right. Okay. Well. Um, that leads us to um, the end of our meeting, basically. <laughs> uh, any final comments? Nope. Thanks, okay. Raphael. Okay. Thank you. Well, good to see you all. And bye, Don. I couldn't see you, but uh, we'll see you uh, next week. <coughs> Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you